Amphibious capability is something that a naval force through the Marine Corps expertly obtains. It is their specialty in a sense that infiltration or insertion into the hostile territory through the beachhead. This is an important feature in the armed forces of a country that is composed of islands surrounded by a body of water. This capability, like the other ones like airdropping troops and supplies, or close air support operations, can be enhanced further in terms of skills, technical knowledge, and of course, amphibious assets in the inventory that actively serves its intended purpose. To improve the Philippine Marine Corps capability, to meet its purpose of assaulting and deployment of marine forces through the sea, its parent service branch, the Philippine Navy, embarked on the amphibious assault vehicle acquisition project. This would allow the Philippine Navy and Philippine Marine Corps to acquire amphibious assault vehicles and rebuild its capabilities when its previous similar asset, the LVTP-5 and LVTH-6 amphibious assault vehicles, lost their amphibious capabilities and were eventually retired from service starting in the 1990s. These new amphibious assault vehicles represent a revitalized Philippine Marine Corps and will be assigned primarily on the Philippine Navy's existing fleet of floating assets such as the Tarlac-class landing platform. In this video, we will see how the acquisition of the Philippine Amphibious Assault Vehicle Project, looking at how much it costs, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action. The Amphibious Assault Vehicle Acquisition Project is the first project implemented in the Horizon 1 of the revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program and was already in the planning since 2009. From 2013 to 2014, a series of bid failures happened due to difficulties in complying with several requirements that the Department of National Defense set in their technical specifications. But in all biddings, only one company persistently participated, which is South Korea's Hanwha Techwin, now Hanwha Defense Systems. In 2014, Hanwha Defense Systems was the most likely supplier of the Philippine Amphibious Assault Vehicle Project, as there were only two potential companies to supply the vehicle. The BAE Systems, with their AAV-7, which is reportedly out of production, and Hanwha Tequin which produces the KAAV, but only Hanwha Tequin participated in all the bid attempts. Based on the technical specifications provided by the Department of National Defense, it appears to be patterned after the American AAV-7 amphibious assault vehicle down from the performance specs, weapons, components, carrying capacity, and even the parts included in the deal. This puts other offers from other manufacturers out of the race, leaving only Hanwha Defense Systems and BAE Systems as possible bidders, while Hanwha Defense Systems was ultimately declared as the sole bidder for the project in 2014. It took a long time before an award was made. The project only made progress in 2015, after former President Aquino signed the approved Horizon 1 acquisitions, which held the budget released for several projects. The project has an approved budget of 2.5 billion pesos for eight units of amphibious assault vehicles, including integrated logistics support. In fourth quarter of 2015, a post-qualification inspection was made by Department of National Defense and Philippine Navy officials and found Hanwha Defense Systems to be post-qualified and capable of undertaking the project. But it was only in April 2016 that a notice of award was given to Hanwha Defense Systems, and a contract was signed with the Department of National Defense by around May 2016. The notice to proceed was only received by Hanwha Defense Systems in June 2016, which will be the basis of the delivery timeline of the vehicles. 
The first for units of amphibious assault vehicles were delivered in May 2019 and completed by another for units in August by the same year. This amphibious assault vehicles is equipped with a man turret with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and high-speed 40mm automatic grenade launcher. It can fire either KM-383 high explosive or K-12 high explosive dual-purpose rounds. at a cyclic rate of 250 rounds per minute to an effective range of 1,500 meters. The vehicle is capable to operate both daytime and thermal infrared night cameras and an iSafe laser rangefinder with a maximum range of 5,500 meters. The fire control system provides an automatic target tracking function as well as automatic ballistic calculation and fire correction functions. This vehicle has a crew of three and can accommodate up to 21 fully loaded troops. It has a mass of 26,000 kg and a length of 7.94 meters with a width of 3.27 meters and height of 3.26 meters. The vehicle can operate in a sea state 5 with average wave height of 4 meters or in a rough sea condition with an operating range of up to 480 kilometers on land and an operating range of up to 37 kilometers on water. With its powerful engine, it has a maximum speed of 24 to 32 kilometers per hour on off-road and up to 72 kilometers per hour on surface road. While in the water, it has a maximum speed of up to 13.2 kilometers per hour. With these new assets, the Philippine Marine Corps will once again have an amphibious component. Aside from the landing of troops from a landing craft, these assault vehicles may provide the necessary protection needed for the troops on board in a way that guarantees the survivability as well as the support for the main beach party to penetrate and remove any beach defense and obstacles that the opposition forces have put against the forward deployment team. This development may a good thing in a way that given the archipelagic setup of the country, these vehicles may help a lot, especially in times of disaster, which have rendered primary seaports unusable, where their role in humanitarian assistance or disaster response through the delivery of relief goods. In the near future, the Philippine Navy will acquire more strategic sea lift vessels or landing platform. It is expected that the Philippine Marine Corps will request additional amphibious assault vehicles. This is to eventually retire the remaining LVTH-6 in the Philippine Marine Corps inventory, as well as improve its amphibious operations capability. Today's patron and YouTube member shout out goes to Jesse Contreras, BGC Online Store, J. Patrick Manga, Cassie A, E.J. Munciak, Elvis Triano, Len Angelo, Jean Cedric Ambrosio, Albert Badio, A.J., Rigel Kent Gilvolio. Thank you so much for all your support, and you all deserve nothing but gratitude.